I clone another repo, which is this one. Okay, let's just go to the full size. Now we have another option to format the commits. So for example, we can use this git log one line, which will condense each commit into a single line. And, do, and what we have here is just the ID, sometimes the tag, but in general, we have the message. So the ID and the message, the ID and the message, instead of all of the information. So for example, if we are using git log, we are giving this other date and the commit ID and the message. And by using one line, you are just limiting the information you are giving by condensing all of that into just the ID and the message. We have also another interesting option, which is graph. Okay, let's just type graph. And what do we have here is this option draws an ASCII graph representing the branch structure of the commit history. And if we just keep navigating, and you'll see that I have some branches right here. But the problem is I don't want to get all of this information. So the author and the date. So I just want to get the ID and the message and the branch. So for that, I can combine graph and one line option. Okay, now as you see, we have just the ID and the message. If we take a look at this example right here, you will see that this asterisk shows which branch on the commit was on. So then the graph tells that this commit right here or this two ones are on the topic branch and the rest of for this last one is returning to the master. So it's just like a wrapping to the commits of the specific branch. So this is the merge pool and this is why you have you see this asterisk of this line is just deviating like that. Then after the merge, we just return to the master.